In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your variable valve timing solenoid. Let's get started. To start, we have to remove the engine cover, for which you can use a 10 millimeter socket, and remove the two mounting nuts. This one came off with the stud, that's fine, that happens sometimes. Just pull the engine cover up and out. And with the engine cover off, you can locate the variable valve timing solenoid at the front of the engine to the left side of the intake, that's this right here. Let's get this wiring harness that runs across it out of our way. And to do that, all you have to do is either with your fingernail or a little screwdriver, lift up on this tab and slide it straight out. And you can do that to as many of these retainers as you need. There are several. I'm only gonna lift up this one because that's all we need. Since we're here, let's unplug the solenoid. You can press on this tab here. I'm going to use the help of some needle nose pliers, gently press and wiggle. That makes it come off a lot easier because we have some leverage. And now, underneath it right here, a little difficult to see, but there's a 10 millimeter bolt holding this down. So let's take that off. To break it free, I'm gonna sneak a socket in from the side and just break it free. Make sure your socket is completely seated on that bolt. There we go. Doesn't take a lot of force. Now we should be able to get it off by hand. Again, it's pretty difficult to see it under there just because of what's in the way. This is the uh, bolt in question. And now, these are usually kind of stuck in here, so you might need some wiggling and prying to get them out. As you can see, it spins, but it doesn't want to pull straight out. So to do that, I'm just going to use a pry bar and gently pry at the top of it. Now the keyword here is gentle, because you can damage things. Okay, there we go. There may be some oil coming out of here at this point, but this car has been sitting for a while, so it lost all oil pressure in here, but there it is. Inspect the mounting area, make sure it's nice and clean and free of any debris. And now, take the new one and slide it straight in. Make sure you line up that bolt hole, press it down all the way. There we go, you heard it click. That means it's completely seated and the O-ring is sealing up the solenoid. So now let's put back the mounting bolt. Start it and bottom it out by hand and then we'll snug it. It's nice and tight. Let's plug it in. And now re-secure the harness wherever you disconnected it. And let's put the engine cover on. Now let's just put the engine cover right back. Make sure it lines up with both of the studs. And put the mounting nuts back on. Tighten it up. There you go. Take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.